What's up everybody? Well, I got another small form factor PC gameplay video for you guys today. And today we're gonna check out Dragon Age of the Veilguard. Now, so far it hasn't really run exceptionally well on anything. So I'm hoping that Peter will finally play it at least halfway well. I don't think it's gonna play, you know, 4K maxed out with ray tracing and stay at 60 FPS, but we're still gonna test that out real quick. And then we'll also try it just maxed out at 4K without the ray tracing. And then heck, if it still can't do it, well, then we'll just have to turn on a little DLSS if the game has it. I'm pretty sure it's got it. I mean, it had FSR. It'd be kind of lame if it had FSR and no DLSS, but we shall see. At least once it's done downloading. I could have sworn I remember downloading this last night, but I must have downloaded all the rest of the games I purchased and somehow just forgot to download that. But luckily this thing goes a lot faster. And plus I still haven't disconnected that ethernet cord. I could easily just hook that up to the back of this thing too and make it go a lot faster. Cause it's actually just downloading. It's not transferring for some reason. Usually it transfers. So I don't know what's up with that, but it is what it is. So we'll let it do its down. Oh, that's right. It's transferring from my main computer to my laptop right now. I was trying to you know, do some more downloads there because I didn't get done downloading on everything last night before it got too late. So I figured while I'm doing the videos on one thing, have it downloading and be completely ready on the next thing. But I still messed up and have to wait for this guy. Oh well, it's not the end of the world. Could use a second to just relax and smoke a bowl or something a little bit here. So I'm gonna go do that. And luckily you guys don't have to wait. We'll just go jump into the settings as soon as it's done. All right guys, sorry. We have to do this all camera recorded. Unfortunately, when I try to record with shadow play, it just starts for like a millisecond and craze. I tried the usual restart in the computer that usually fixes it, doesn't fix it this time. So unfortunately, we'll just have to go all old school camera, but at least that means nothing interferes with our FPS. But first we're gonna try just maxing the game out. At 4K, no upscaling yet, no frame gen, just DLAA and aliasing which is just basically an NVIDIA proprietary anti-aliasing, which looks 10,000% better than the stock FXAA or TAA, Vaseline crap. But anyway, we've also got ray tracing turned on. So I do not expect this to go very well, but we'll try ray tracing and then we'll even turn DLSS on real quick with the ray tracing, but I'm not gonna sit there and do frame gen for every single thing. We'll just do frame gen as its own standalone thing later. We'll probably still combine it with DLSS, but anyway, that is pretty much that. So let's go see how it runs. I'm gonna expect probably 40, 30, 40 FPS, but let's go find out. All right, well, here we are in the game. With ray tracing and thing on 4K and everything, and yeah, we're getting like 30 FPS. And I can almost guarantee you when action would happen. And if we got to a harder to run spot. I'm not going to sit here and pretend this is the hardest to run spot in the game, but... Hey, there's another one of those things. So let's see. situation's changed, for the worse, unfortunately. Our gods, Elganon and Gilane, they've escaped from Fenrell's Well, at least the game doesn't look really, really bad maxed out. So graphics aren't its issue. Yes, that is very but I don't know. I haven't played too much yet, but I don't know. This doesn't really feel like Dragon Age to me so far. Not the ones I remember, anyway. We'll just go with that. It's a lot to take in. It does sort of explain a few things, though. Like what exactly? The surge of raw magic in the area. These artifacts started waking up a while ago, but in fits and starts. One here, a couple there, then. A but yeah, I don't really consider 30 FPS playable, especially on a PC that costs this expensive. But some people don't care about FPS; they want all the eye candy and they don't want anything getting in its way. So, seems like it can just about stay at 30-ish FPS. 
I still stand by my earlier statement, though. I bet you there's areas where it will drop down in the 20s with these settings. So, I think it's time to go see what a little DLSS can do. Well, alright. So, here's the DLSS settings I decided on. I have decided to go with performance. I don't generally like to go that low, but I was watching the FPS, and it was just like, okay, well, even balanced might drop under 60 here and there, but this probably will stay over 60 a majority of the time. Keyword here is probably. We shall see in a second. Other than that, though, we got everything else still on Ultra. We still got ray tracing on, and I do not have frame gen on. So, why don't we go hop back into the game, and then after this, we'll turn ray tracing off and just see what this thing can do, just pure rasterization. All right, we're back in the game. And as you can see, we're getting 70-ish FPS. It does drop into the 60s still, but... And it doesn't really look that much worse. Like, if I look for it, I can tell that performance looks a little worse than balanced and, perform and uh, quality. But I have to sit there and look way off into the background. Like, if you look over here into that where that castle is, if you go and flip through all the different things, that will look more detailed and whatnot. But I don't really care. I'm more focusing on the foreground in front of me while I play a game. I don't know about you guys. But I will say, at least so far, this game doesn't seem to be a complete stutter fest. At least not on this computer. Even when we were at like 30 FPS, the frame times weren't going all over the place. At least not yet. Maybe this place is fine and later on in the game it turns into a stutter fest. But... At least it's got that going for it, too. I'm definitely... I think pretty much every PC guy's about had it with the stupid games where they just go, we don't care, it's just going to stutter. All right, put it out there. And this game right here is DX12. It's not stuttering like crazy. I mean, maybe it's not Unreal Engine 5. Maybe that's the key. Because everybody tells me that's an Unreal 5 engine thing. All right, doesn't really seem like there's anything else to grab around here. I just like looking for chests and whatnot. Up, oh, speaking of which, here's one now. Oh, and there might be another thing right here. All right, what's over here, though? Is that water just swirling into the air? Damn straight it is. Yep, there is. Well, all right, let's go back the way we came, I guess. Because it wants us to go back up there. Well, actually, I'd say that's probably good enough footage for that. Why don't we go turn ray tracing off now and see how the game does? All right, well, now we just got it at native 4K without ray tracing and no DLSS helping at it. At least not yet. And it probably won't be able to quite stay at 60 if we're only getting 62, 64 in this menu with nothing really going on. But I just want to see what it does. It was only getting like 35 to 38 before with the ray tracing on and whatnot. So wonder how it will do now without the ray tracing. But hey, let's hop back into the game. Well, I got to go restart the game, I'm sure. And then we'll see how it does. Well, now here we go with just 4K now. No ray tracing or anything. I've been trying to get to the artifact at the center of the bubble, but these magical constructs keep getting in the way. A few dozen demons shouldn't be a problem. Huh. I think I missed that the first time. They're animating those suits of armor. The armor is attuned to the artifact to protect it from threats. Ah, and I'm guessing it sees us as threats. Yeah, can't quite stay at 60 all the time, but then too far off though. So that's nice. And obviously we got screen tearing because I have 
V-Sync turned off. This is only a 60 hertz panel after all. I'm used to much more hertz than that now. Alright, nope, you can't jump up and climb like that. Just wanted to make sure. How will I know if I don't try, right? Ooh, there's a chest over there. I don't think there's any way to get to it this way, unless I can bust a hole through this thing. Let's try that. Maybe I can go right through this wall if I attack it. I doubt it, but... No. It doesn't seem to have a life bar. So far, everything that it has... That can be damaged. Seems to have some form of light bar. Now I probably can't climb that either. So I guess let's go back this way. And all right, why don't we go ahead and go? Hop on and turn on a little DLSS, I think. Alright, so here's the DLSS settings. I decided to go with quality this time. It should still be able to stay over 60 like that. And then after that, we'll try some frame gen. The rest of the settings are still on ultra. We just don't have any ray tracing on still. Alright, let's get back to that game. So here we go. I did not bother restarting the game for TLSS and upscaling. I only do that when I change major settings. Just to make sure that way it redoes the, it kind of like verifies the shaders at the beginning of each thing. So I'm hoping doing that will get it to, you know, be smooth and be all good and give us the correct FPS and not have any weird shit where it's like, oh, well, that's actually not the real FPS you see because this, that, and the other thing. All right, cool. We got some. Oh. Alright, I still haven't quite learned how to do these things yet. Yeah. yeah, I don't get that. Usually you like click something and then hold it and then you can like select. But in this game it doesn't seem to work. Or maybe they just don't have the right energy to do that right now. It's not like you can just do things over and over again whenever you want. Like, I still haven't been able to do that weird sword attack for quite a while now. Ah, gee. I guess that's that. Yeah, we didn't drop under 60. I didn't see any stutters. Seems to be pretty damn rock solid smooth FPS in this game. Oh, there's a tiny little stutter there. here. I don't usually see elven ruins that haven't been picked over. Not many people come this far into Arlathan. Just bail jumpers mostly. And people trying to save the world apparently. Oh, 
All right, though. What do you say we go turn a little frame gen on now? So now we're gonna try frame gen out. So we got the LSS quality on to frame gen and that turns NVIDIA Reflex on by default. And then we left these settings alone. Whoop, went one too far again. But all right, let's go see how it does. Well, now here we are. Now we got a little frame gen in the mix. Is there anything else in this room to snatch before we go through those doors? Well, isn't this a sight? Yes. Oh, is this? No. It can't be. Not here. Can't be what? We have to get over there. The artifact we're looking for must be inside. Nope, nothing else in here. But that's why I like to explore. No way across. Think you can make the jump? Oh, no, we can make a bridge. There should be a power crystal somewhere nearby. Oh, there it is. Got it. Bring it over here and slot it in. And there we go. Easy. Well, isn't that something? A resonance amplifier. It's drawing magic from the ring temple to this area. I need to shut it down before we can go up the path. But doing that will attract anything nasty that's hanging around. Ah, so then that'll be our job to take care of them, eh? There we go. So it just has to have a check mark next to it to use it. I see. I was just messing up before it seemed like. Well, I've been dodging for a while now. I think I know how to dodge. Oh man, I hit dodge. Didn't work. Oh, there's more. Oh wait, there's more. Oh, couldn't dodge that, not while I was climbing.
someone at a bad end here. Even mages have trouble with the artifacts here. They expect them to work like, you know, normal magic. But they're different. The magic's more like All right, though. Somehow. I'd say that's probably good. So why don't we go wrap this video on up? Well, all right, guys, that's a wrap for Dragon Age the Velgard on this small form factor PC here. And it seemed to do a really good job. I saw one tiny itty bitty little stutter. And besides that, it was like butter smooth the whole time. And that's the kind of stutter I absolutely never would have even noticed had I not had a frame time graph. I mean, it wasn't even like a centimeter or a millimeter of a freaking frame time variance. It was like a tiny little blip. Kind of thing you'd see going into a new area kind of thing, but still not even that bad. So I'll give it this. It might not quite feel like the Dragon Age I'm used to, but at least the game plays well. For where I am, maybe it all goes to shit later in the game, but at least on this PC, it seems to run pretty damn well. Obviously, you can't play it maxed out ray tracing at 4K and get 200 FPS, but I already knew that going in. You can almost never do that even on a 4090 without some help from DLSS and some frame gen. With all that help, you can usually settle right around like 100 to 120, and that's all I care about in a single player game. But in any case, that is all I got for you guys for this particular video, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video, because I sure as hell enjoy making it for you guys. And until the next video, peace out, guys.